Hello. This is the training video using the Logistics app as an owner or generator of a project. You should have received an email from Logistics that has a link like the one shown on the screen. You can either click on the link or go to Logistics.app and use the email address and your temporary password to log in. From there, I'm going to click on the link, and it's going to take me into Logistics for the first time. Upon entering the platform, it asks you to set up your digital signature and your new password. We recommend that you use one of the suggested passwords, but you can enter in any password you would like. The new password must be greater than 8 characters and must have one lower and one uppercase character. After that, I'm going to click Set Password and that's going to complete the process for setting up my account for the first time. Next, you will be redirected back to the login screen. You'll want to enter your email address and that new password that you selected. You're then going to read and accept the licensing agreement and now you're complete and ready to start tracking. The first screen you will see upon gaining access is the project dashboard screen. Here, you can see all of the profiles that you've been invited to so far. I'm going to click on the first one here, which will take me into this sample project. When you first log in, if a contractor has created a manifest for you to sign, you will see the manifests here. You can also create manifests on your own. Here I'm going to show you how to create 5 manifests. Simply type the number 5, hit the create button, and there you have it. As trucks begin to pull up to the site, you can sign one manifest at a time and assign those to trucks via the assign manifest to drivers button. You can also sign the entire batch of 5 manifests that you created. To do that, You'll want to select the entire batch of however many manifests you created and click the green sign button in the upper right. Now you have enough manifests for the day, week, or the entire project. This process is definitely easier than having to hand sign all these manifests as you probably did in the past. You also have authentication for anybody using the manifests and complete control inside of the registry to know how these manifests have been used. Here you can see some of the manifests that have been used in the process. You can see where they've been signed via the blue check mark. The system then adds a driver check as the driver takes them. As you can see on the screen, it looks like this driver took a manifest and is on their way to the landfill. When the scale processes the manifest, the scale attendant signs these as well. You can navigate and search for a particular manifest by using the manifest number, filter by a date range, and by using the other filters here. Here, we're looking at all signed manifests. You can see if any manifests were voided and if any were rejected by the scale attendant. There is also another filter that shows all or only unused manifests. This is helpful because you can quickly see how many manifests that drivers have not picked up yet. You can see that I have 24 total signed manifests waiting for drivers. When you're inside of the registry, you can click on any of these to see the actual manifest. This looks very similar to the non-hazardous paper manifest that you're accustomed to. You can also see the three signatures at the bottom. As you can see, there is no receipt. If this was a live project, once the truck crosses the scale, you would automatically get the quantity and a weigh scale receipt at your fingertips. The quantity would be shown right here, and you will have the ability to view receipts by a selected date range. I'm going to input a date range. It looks like there are a couple of receipts in here. If you want to print your manifests, you can select however many manifests you would like to print. You then have the option to print them either all in one folder or separate them in a folder by day and create a ZIP file. I'm going to click on by day. You can see the progress bar where it creates all of these PDF for you and organizes the folder for you in a nice, neat digital package. Once it's complete, you can click the download zip file button and that should show up in the bottom left hand corner of your browser. If you're using Google Chrome like shown, you can open the zip file and see that it created a month folder and created folders by day, housing all PDF manifests over the period in that folder. The final thing I would like to show you is at the top of our screen, the report button. Once you click the report button, it will take you to a report page where you can see the KPI or key performance indicators of your project to date. As you can see on the screen, it looks like there were 2,585 manifests used in total, with 223 being used this month, 13 this week, and 13 used today by drivers. On this screen, you will be able to see all of the tonnage and totals also in the manifest registry, which looks like the registry we went over earlier on the main page. Once you see your reports, you can click on the three dots and export this data to a CSV. 
or an Excel spreadsheet. You can even export as a Google Sheet if you would like. This function allows you to download all of these reports and import the data into any third-party software. This concludes the tutorial of using Logistics as an owner or generator. Please feel free to reach out to us at any time inside of the app using the chat widget in the lower right-hand corner. Feel free to contact support for any additional information. Thank you for watching. We hope you have a great day.